it racist to say someone looks Chinese or looks Asian? Hello and welcome back everybody to Atomic Radio Hour, the show that dives into the wreckage that is post-apocalyptia. I'm your host, Vince, and I'm also here with... Your monster under the bed, Declan. Now, last week we had a lot of laughs. We had a great talk with our buddy Kyle. Shout out to Kyle, come back on the podcast. So, since we talked a lot about 76... Last week, I thought maybe we should kind of go back to the older games, the games that we know more about. Of course, the ones with content we can talk about. Yeah, (laughs) I think in another month, or maybe a few weeks, we should talk about 76 again, because we got done recording that episode, and the very next day, the, not the date, but the time frame for the beta came out. Yeah, it's, um, it's set now for... October. October, yeah. But I, I think it's because we were talking about it. Like, you know when they, people say, like, oh, if you talk about something enough... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you I, wish it into the ether. Yeah, like, we talked it into existence. Yeah. So. Million dollars, million dollars, million dollars. Creatures. Yes. Uh, the the no clip documentary for 76 said that there's going to be a lot of enemies. Which I'm totally into. If we're not going to have a lot of NPCs, I want shit to sink bullets into. Definitely. I think the number one thing I took out of the no clip documentary is that 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 they upgraded the enemies that we have already, even though Death Claws technically wouldn't really make sense to be there. Really? Yeah, which, again, the, the topic for this episode is the creatures, the monsters, the animals, the foes the that are non-human. Boogies. Sorry? The Oogie Boogies. Yeah, so Death Claws really wouldn't be prominent yet. Are they a later species? They are and they're not. Okay. Um... I'll get into it more, but they were around, but they were known as more of, like, these rare, legendary okay. creatures that kind of sh- started showing up later on. So, I'm very curious to see how it's going to play into everything, but let's jump right into it. What's your favorite? My favorite creature? Ah, uh, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Do you have a favorite? I'm, I'm partial to Yao Guai. Yao Guai's are pretty cool. You know, you shouldn't feed them. No, I never. There's a public never. service announcement. Don't feed the Yao Guai. Uh, I like them a lot. I, in 3, they're not that menacing. I don't remember really ever seeing them in New Vegas. I remember, like, maybe once or twice. Yeah. In 4, they terrify me. They, they don't They don't exist in 4. Yeah, they do. No, they do, but, like... Sorry, wrong, wrong wordage. There are, like, six of them. Yeah, but they're scary. <laughs> yeah. They are. I don't know. They're, they're, they're very, uh, ghoulish. Yeah. I guess you're because you they say have that. the patchy skin and like the fur and yeah that's because all the off. engine was better yeah well Yao Guai are mutated uh, American black bears they're actually named by the descendants of Chinese survivors that were living in concentration camps really that's why they have Chinese names huh yeah so uh, the U S did what Germany did pretty much and put the Chinese in camps in America yeah. And, oh, or like we did with Japan. Yeah, that atrocity. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. Yeah, so they were named after the remaining survivors, which made me think, why aren't there more Chinese in Fallout? I don't know. Even like ghoul Chinese people. Yeah, I feel like there should probably be more. You only really get little sprinkles here and there. I don't remember seeing anybody that's Asian, like at all. Nothing comes to mind right away. I mean, I feel like the most Asian population in Fallout was President 4. I'm sorry? Present in four. Oh. <laughs> Who? You have uh, the Yangtze, and then you have some descendants that are like, have that kind of skin tone and have uh, have that kind of physical Does appearance. Dr. Lee count? Dr. Lee, I would say counts. Or is that just the name? Because I don't think, she didn't- I look, don't know. I don't know. Is that racist to say someone looks Chinese or looks Asian? Yagwai will attack pretty much everything. There's only one thing that they really have been known to not attack, and I don't know where this information comes from, but it's bloat flies. I vaguely remember knowing this. Really? Yeah, I don't remember where I heard this, but I think in 3 or New Vegas, they, like, don't fuck with them. No, not that they don't... I don't know if it's it's just they don't fuck with them, or it's that they're just kind of like, Like, we're cool, like, we get it. (laughs) One thing that I remember being the best part about 3 is when you have an animal friend. And you're just like, hi, you Yao Guai, you are my friend. Yeah, Yao Guai don't attack you when you have the like best version of Animal Friend. Really? Yeah. I never took that. I always thought it was a worthless perk. No, it's great. Yao, Ga- Yao Guai friends. They fight for you? I don't recall. 
They just they don't eat your shit. They're also known for being very gentle with their kin. Oh yeah, which makes sense because bear. bear. Yeah. Next up, I have the illustrious Deathclaw. Purdy. They are mutated Jacob's cha- chameleons through genetic engineering with additional DNA of various other species. Right. Oh, they're intentional. The, kind of, kind of. Pr- originally created pre-war to aid troops in battle. The U.S. was making battle dinosaurs. Yep. And that's why I think the Enclave knows how to take them and use them. Huh. Ain't that a pip? Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. So they were kind of put out into the the wild. Once everything kind of shit hit the fan and everything they they had been breeding, the master gets to them and helps them evolve with FEV. Jeez. Yeah. After 2161... They became less known as, like, legendary and just more known. Like they're At less... that point, they've been breeding. Yeah. Everyone yeah. kind of knew, like, oh, Deathclaws, run. We yeah, we don't fuck with them. No vocal cords. Deathclaws have no vocal cords. They can groan and grunt. Yeah. They also apparently can copy minor speech patterns not having vocal cords. So kind of like how, like, you see videos on the internet of dogs going, like, I love you. I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's said much like a parrot. But they're not intelligent enough to do so. Huh. Yeah. Which I think is super interesting. That's so cool. Yeah. Imagine what, like, Deathclaw version 2 Electric Boogaloo would be. It just talks to you. Yeah. It's like... With, like, a British accent. <laughs> like Cogsworth. I just want Cogsworth, but a Deathclaw. That's all I want. <laughs> what if? And hear me out. Okay. Robo Deathclaw. Like Mecha Godzilla. Yes. I'm for it. I'm here for yeah, it. Bethesda? I, I, I want to put Codsworth right in that Deathclaw machine. Oh, shit. It's like, I'll kill that for you, sir. Like, oh, you're saying like his AI? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant a Deathclaw like that controls a, like Cogsworth. Like no. a suit. Like he sits in like a chair. Oh. Like the concept art. Do you ever see the concept art for Mama Murphy? Yeah. She sits in like a Mr. Handy? Yeah. Like that. That's what I thought you were saying. No, I'm thinking more of like someone built a robot Deathclaw and put an AI in it. That's super fucking cool. That'd be terrifying. Oh, yeah. That'd be absolutely fucking terrifying. These claws can tailor your suits. <laughs> Rad scorpions. Not a fan, if I'm being really? honest. They, Why, in they, what way? They scare the shit out of me. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, rightfully so, because they're mutated North American emperor scorpions. A ton of pet stores carry these oh yeah so pre-war these rad scorpions these scorpions before they were rad scorpions being in pet stores is as common as the cold yeah they've become much larger much faster and very very venomous that's probably the worst part is just the health drain when they hit you with the with their stinger yep that's the worst but and the way they jump out of the ground and fall out forward just scares the shit out of me really yeah. I like how they've kind of evolved with their area and there's like different types of them. Yeah. I like think that's there's neat. the bark skinned ones. There's I love the albino ones. I remember yeah. in three when they show up when you get the DLC, I remember being like, this is actually a fight. Like this is a challenge. Yeah. Here was my favorite one to research. I was only gonna do like four when I was researching, and then I realized how small this was. Bloatfly. Alright, tell me about bloatflies. Mutated blowflies. That's it. That's oh. their entire fucking Fallout wiki entry. Mutated blowflies. That's it. So they're just big, gross boys. They're fucking annoying and pointless. Yeah, I guess. They shoot at you and you go, ah. And then you just turn around and go, once, and they're done. I like shooting them with laser weapons. Like a nice, crunchy, bloatfly, charred mess. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I feel like it's more satisfying than gun. Really? Yeah. I feel like shooting a bloatfly with, like, a 10mm pistol feels like just shooting a grape. <laughs> I just kind of picture like, him, like, exploding and... Like, you're insignificant. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. More insignificant bugs. The rad roach mutated from a cockroach. You know, they would survive an apocalypse. More or less. They're mostly found underground and become a huge problem with vaults. And you could find them everywhere in caves and subway tunnels. Some tribes... In the Fallout universe, believe that their insides can be used as, like, a paste for uh, radiation sickness. Really? Yeah. What game is that in? I Probably two. Two? I wouldn't be surprised if New Vegas kind of touches upon it a Maybe little bit. Maybe in the Zion Valley? I, I only played, uh, what is it, Broken Hearts or Lonely Hearts? I forget. I only played that once. It was a long time ago. I only did Sierra Nevada, and I only did that maybe yeah. once or twice. That, one, that one's fun. 
Yeah. You don't remember Garrett? Yeah. Garrett loves that. Yeah, it's his favorite DLC. He thinks, like, the storytelling of that is, like, impeccable. I think it's really good. It is really good. Yeah. My favorite from New Vegas is Big Mountain. I didn't play it. It's so fun. Geckos. Tell me about them. Mutated due to airborne FEV coming off of the West Tech Research Facility. Yeah, they're only in New Vegas, from what I remember. I think they're in two. Are they? I think so. Well, in the uh, in Bethesda games, they're only in New Vegas, and you find them pretty close to Good Springs. Is that the only place that they are? It's the only place I remember them being significant to me. Huh. Now, the people at home can't see, but I used an entire page for my notes on mole rats. All right, tell me about some mole There's rats. like a significant amount of lore around mole rats. Okay. Like... There's two types. Oh. There are western, New California-esque mole rats that are covered in fur. And And avocados, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mutated from moles. Okay. East Coast and Mojave mole rats are from naked mole rats. All right. So you have those two, like, that's where it diverges. Yes. These mole rats, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Were engineered by the U.S. government. What Before business? Before the Great War. What business did the U.S. government have in messing with mole rats? Mission Cloacina, if I'm saying that correctly, to develop an invasive life form that could be planted in China. So, fun fact about uh, the word Cloacina. It means the cleanser in Latin. <laughs> it's actually from Roman mythology. And um, it had to do with uh, sewage stuff. Really? Yeah, that's the baseline information I found off Google. Well, like I said, they wanted to put something in China that would be invasive and that would just kill off all of the plants and kind of just get into everything. They wanted to do China famine? Kind of. But here's the best part. A genetic kill switch was put into their DNA to help with the clean up after the theoretical fall of China. Meaning, they had something... Some sort of a chemical or a gas, and they would drop into China and instantly kill all of the mole rats. That's crazy. Does that ever show up in the games? I don't know. But they used FEV to uh, help them mutate to that point, and it kind of... I don't know if it debunked it, because they're obviously still out there. Maybe they kind of bred out the FEV, or they just never used the FEV, because it made them sterile. Huh. So it, it defeated the purpose of of them breeding and making more and being more invasive. Maybe it's a certain, like, substrains that are sterile. Maybe. I don't know. I thought that was super, That's really super interesting. Super interesting, yeah. Do you have anything else about mole rats? No, they're, other than they're aggressive and they breed fast. What about uh, the, the interesting mole rat facts from Fallout 4? Oh? Yeah, if, um, a little bit of a spoiler for, for Vault 81, don't listen to this if you haven't completed Vault 81. So the uh, the back uh, the back end of Vault eighty one has uh, a research facility that was meant for engineering viruses to expose to human populations in the vault. But one of the viruses ended up infecting mole rats that live and breed in that section of the vault. So if you're in that section of the vault when you're going to explore for the quest and you get hit by one mole rat, you can get a virus that you cannot remove called like mole rat sickness. So that's why I have that. That's why you have that. But listen, at the end of that section of the vault, you meet Curie and she's like, listen, I have the cure, but I have one cure. So you could either cure the kid that is sick in the other side of the vault or take it for yourself and get rid of the debuff. And the debuff is only a minus 10 to your max, uh, max HP. So that's easy to overcome. But also if you're a bad person, it's a reason to get rid of it. It's like constantly having like a sinus, not like a sinus infection, but like having like a Like one nostril blocked. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, the allergies again. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's neat. I didn't know that. Yeah. If you are able to successfully get through the last or that back section of the vault without getting hit, then you don't have the moral dilemma of having, uh, either to cure yourself or the kid you just hand it over and they love you forever that's neat yeah, i remember I giving was, it to the kid that was really cool i always really liked that you know i, I never realized it no i just knew i had it and i was like how do i get rid of this but i never looked it up because i didn't care because it's 10 points yeah what's get it what's 10 points of damage a pipe pistol maybe i don't know like what i thought was interesting is the genetic the genetic kill switch yeah that's cool i automatically thought of moira's mole rat repellent stick <laughs> Because you hit them once, 
and they smoke, and then you hit them again, and their heads explode. Yeah. So did Moira figure I out about the stick? Does Moira have the cure to all mole rats everywhere? To mole ratism. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I never thought about that. Yeah, that was the first thing I was sitting there reading the wiki going like, fucking mole rats? Genetic kill switch? That'd be a really cool band name. Genetic, Genetic kill, kill switch. switch? Yeah. Like some black metal band? That'd be so cool. I'd listen to them. I didn't even care if I didn't like the music. The lyrics Genetic. are surprisingly intellectual. <laughs> yeah. So, going on with the whole theme of creatures, I think I said it previously. I don't remember. I'm very tired. Uh... 76 said there's like 70 different types of enemies. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, of course, they're bringing over mole rats and rad roaches. And the classic the fan favorites. Yeah, but they're also bringing a lot of cool new stuff in. Like, apparently there's a plant that's like a toxic plant that you could like walk through and slowly die to death. Huh. Yeah. And like I was saying with the death claws, that doesn't make sense. It's 25 years after the bombs drop. I get it that these chameleons could have been everywhere, but... Yeah. I'd like to see like one or two that are in the game and that's they're it. a challenge they're back to being that rarity and yeah. they're challenging like if you don't have a group of five or six friends you're not taking down this death claw now that i kind of think about it and like we're saying it out loud the only time i remember really ever seeing a death claw is in a nuked zone okay so that would make sense yeah i could see like an instant like that of just those radiation are some of, those are some of the hardest zones in the game yeah but also super mutants shouldn't exist Technically, I don't think... I feel like we should dedicate an episode to our super mutant friends. We should, and it's not that we're not going to. It's just I want to talk about this now because we're talking about animals that should or should not exist. Right. I'm 90% sure super mutants, if they exist, are very small in number. Yeah, in 76, you mean. In, in, in uh, 2102, 2102, when 76 takes place. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Death Claws being in the game. I understand it. I can kind of get it, but... I'm more interested in the folklore monsters. Yes, definitely. Those you, look cool as heck. Do you know any that like you want to bring up right away? No. I, the Whatever one that's shown last in the trailer with the big glowy eyes, I totally... The crab looking thing? I think so. I totally want to know what that is. I want to know if it's going to be like, if it's going to be like quests based around these things where it's going to be like, you got to, like, you got to kill Hogger. Remember that? Like in WoW, yeah. it's like everyone got together and kill Hogger. Like, I wonder if it's going to be like that. Like you have to do a whole thing where it's like, go to Grafton, find out about the Grafton monster, kill the Grafton monster. Or like the Mothman, which everyone's like going nuts about. I know nothing about the Mothman. Is that the like screeching scorched thing? No, that's a scorcher beast. That thing is cool. Yeah. That reminds me of that Pokemon from yes. Gen 5. Um, Noivern? Something like that. It reminded me of that Pokemon and Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, but rude. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great movie. I've never seen it. You've never seen How to Train Your Dragon? No. I've never seen the second one, but the second one's apparently awesome. Yeah? No, the first one's so good. It's so fucking good. And like... You learn a little bit, you cry a little bit. It's great. It's wonderful. West Virginia being so close to our home state of Pennsylvania. So I want to see some Pennsylvania monsters. Like, I don't know about any, like, local folklore about monsters here, but I want to fight monsters in my state. I think that'd be cool. I want to fight radioactive Amish. <laughs> I feel like we can diss the Amish and say whatever we want because they're not going to hear this. Uh, yeah. I mean... And if any of them do hear it, they're going to be like, Oh, Brother Jebediah, how did you hear that? You're on the internet again? And they'll cast him out. Yeah, like, um... We found the one person we can shit on the most and not get in trouble for. <laughs> I mean, if you're Amish and you like being Amish, cool. But also... It's the future. I mean, not all Amish are like that, are they? Uh, any universe that I can live in... Like, today I was driving here, and I yelled at my phone, Play Gucci Man, and guess what it did? What? It fucking played Lemonade by Gucci Man. Like, why would you not want to live in that that universe but what i'm saying is does everyone that follows the amish religion do that that system of life i don't think being amish is a religion i just thought it was like you live a christian life with amish undertones oh i thought it was a religion i thought it was a lifestyle Are we both being ignorant right now i don't think so i'm kind of curious i always thought amish was a religion no i think i think i think amish is a lifestyle like uh being a um illidite iodite illithide I don't know what you're talking about. Someone who detests technology. Uh, I don't know. I heard Michael from Vsauce say it, and I can't think of how it's pronounced. Hmm. The Amish are an American Protestant group of around 200,000 members descended of about 2,000 members descended from 
European Anabaptists who came to the U.S. more than two centuries ago to escape persecution. So I guess it is a religion, a Protestant religion. No, I, I, it's Protestant, but I think their lifestyle is devoid of their religion. Amish I think behave in the community, or Amish believe that the community is the heart of their life and faith, and the way to salvation is to live a love in a loving community where individualism is avoided. Really? Yeah. I see these people all the time. They always have like that. Not far from us, they have like that bake sale thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, I go there and buy their very cheap, like, $4 for an apple pie. Where else am I going to get $4 apple pie? I guess you're right. You know what I mean? All right, Amish, come on the show. Bring your apple pie. <laughs> the three of you that are sneaking the internet to listen to this, please bring as many apple pies as you legally are allowed. And if you're playing Lemonade by Gucci Man, you get to stay as a permanent host. <laughs> you know what I'd really like to see? I've never really been to uh, West Virginia. I think I was there once. I went there with school. We went to Harper's Ferry. Yeah. Um... Antietam? Oh, wow, that'd be really cool. You see the battleground? Yeah, Antietam and Harper's Ferry are so fucking cool. Yeah, it was all right. I really liked the Antietam trip. It was very humid I've gone when we a went. bunch of times, so. Oh, did you? Yeah. I remember it was I remember it was super humid and I've never been camping before and the night was very cold and the day was very humid and I don't like camping, I found out. I really like camping. Like I'm a, I'm a scout. That's cool. Yeah, and I really liked Harper's Ferry. I think it was really cute. Now I want to see that. I, apparently it's in the game. Cool. I, in the in the no clip documentary, the one guy's like, ah, oh, Harper's Ferry doesn't really fit, but if we just kind of nudge it over, all right, we're good. Oh. So even if it's just kind of like that uphill, because I remember being very uphill and there's like a train station there. Yeah. Even if it's just that, like that's cool. Yeah. I would like to see owls. A ton of just like owls. Just like bird ass birds? Like, you know how there's the crows in four? Yeah. And I think there's birds in New Vegas in three, but they're like very scarce. Yeah. I would like to see owls that are like not like not not as if they act like racks from Borderlands. Ooh, no. Yeah. yeah, no. But just to see like an owl as an enemy and like you can scavenge that sweet sweet owl meat. What do you think owls taste like? Um, I'm going to go out on a really uncreative limb and say chicken. What? You because even put it's a, little a thought? bird. Yeah, but Mo- have you ever had of, duck? I uh, fair point. Have you had duck? Yeah. How does it taste? You never had duck? No, I never had duck. It's different. Yeah? Like, yeah. how different? I don't know. It's like the venison of chicken. I don't now, like venison. It doesn't taste like deer meat, but, like, it's just different. It's, people say gamey. Oh, 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 yeah. oh okay, 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 okay. I thought you meant it was, like, the same, like, texture and no. close flavor. You just mean it's, like, that off, it's, like, an off-brand. Not really You know what I mean? Brand? Not, it's like, different. off-brand. Yeah. It's, like, I it's, like, see... red Doritos versus blue Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want to see ducks. In a Fallout game. What kind of ducks? Geese, because they're already fucking monsters. Yo, you remember that episode of Rugrats with the goose? No. You don't remember the episode of Rugrats with the goose? No. And Chucky's, like, terrified of the goose, and they're, like, Rightly so, (laughs) might I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never played the Rugrats game on the PS1 or the PS2? There's a whole... I don't remember if it's the one where you're in... I think it's the Rugrats game where you're in the house. And it's really, really cool because you, you could play as Tommy or Chucky or Phil or Lil, I'm pretty sure. And you can explore the entire house. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and there's a mini game where you go, I think, mini golfing? And, like, you have to avoid the goose. The, I remember being a kid and the Rugrats video games were the shit. Like, they were really good. Really? I we never... should make a Rugrats video game podcast. Sure. <laughs> they're bringing Rugrats back. Did you see that? No, I did not. Yeah, they're bringing it back and they want to make it fucking CG. And they want to make a movie that's live action. How? Yeah, how? Are how? You... You're going to get real babies and then just do the air... Or does Air Bud talk? Homeward Bound they talk, right? I think. Or you're just going to like fucking make the mouth move? I hate that shit. I remember being a kid and hating that. Yeah. Like being in school, like, we're going to watch a movie today. It's about animals and they talk. And I remember being like, fuck, I don't want to watch... I, I, I just... I hate when they do the editing so it looks like the like the CG, so it looks like the mouth is moving. I hate that, because the mouth just goes up and down. How the fuck is the dog making the ooh sound? It can't make an ooh with its lips. I, I just, it bothered me as a kid, and it I still really bothers never, me. I really never never thought too hard about it. But now I hope there's a fucking talking dog in Fallout. If it's a robot dog, fuck yeah! Oh yeah, that'd be rad as shit. Speaking of... Robots, I guess, are creatures. No, cyborgs, they're robots. Cyborgs, like Rex, say. Okay. How many cyborgs are in the game? Rex? Rex. 
and Rex. Yeah. And every single synth. No. There are creatures. Hear me out. Creatures. Animals. Creatures, right? Robots. Like Assaultrons and... Security uh, bots, yeah. and shit. And then you have humans, which are humans. And then you have filthy fucking toasters that are synths. Which are just meat sacks with a computer in them. Yeah. So they are, I would say, creatures. By technical definition. I no. They're a cyborg because there is meat. That There is meat on those They're not those a cyborg. Bones. A cyborg is a human that has turned robot. A synth is a robot that has turned human. All right. That's a fair way to look at it. Cyborg from the Teen Titans. Is a cyborg. He's a human. He was a football player that got into an I think, <laughs> bless you. Cyborg from the Teen Titans, I think, got hurt in a football accident. And the DC version of, like, Weapon X was like, we can fix him. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. Yeah. But there's that whole episode in the Teen Titans where he's like, my coach always said give 110%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, I guess I really never thought of it like that. So, are you saying if synths are not creatures, are you saying synths are people? Don't ever get it twisted. Never in my life will I ever say synths are people. Because they're not. They're not people. Yeah. Because you know what you and I have in our head? A fucking brain. You know what synths have? A synth component. I don't know what it is. Kellogg is a cyborg. Yeah. Yep. Kellogg is a human with synth parts. Your character in New Vegas has the option to be a cyborg. Yes. I vaguely remember that. You Can go you to elaborate a, upon that? You somewhere? go to MedTech. Okay. That's just outside of uh, the Crimson Caravan Company. Is that where you can get the implants? Yeah. Is this what you're talking about? Yep. If you get, really? an, Im- if you get an implant, you're technically a cyborg. Or... If you do Big Mountain, you become a cyborg. Because uh, I think there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That you have, you must leave Big Mountain with some kind of augment. Really? By ter- In terms of how you get there and how you get out, I think you have to leave with a component of some kind. Do they take part of your brain in uh, Point Lookout? I don't remember. Point Lookout, I it's like a, a fever dream. I don't remember anything really? about it. I remember nothing about I it. I think I played Point Lookout twice. I remember, all I remember is, bye, you creatures. <laughs> yeah, that and the, um, what's it called? The carnival. Yeah, th- those, like, I those two vague images, yeah. that's it. I remember very... Isn't there a really good vault in Point Lookout? No, that's Far Harbor. That's Far Harbor? With the painter and the yeah. robo-brains? I actually never found that vault. I read about no? it. No? Yeah. Oxhorn. Oxhorn, shout out to you. Please come on the podcast. We'd Please love to have on you on. Please come on the podcast, Oxhorn. I've been watching since Rafflemau. He did a really great video on that vault that I just rewatched because it had been... I, would, I did Har- Far Harbor once. On the PS4, the frame rate on Far Harbor sucked. They made a way to fix it. I wasn't... I didn't feel that compelled. I didn't feel like I had to go back. I really like Far Harbor. If there's any DLC I really want to go back and play, it's Point Lookout, and I really want to play Nuka World again, but be a total just fucking kill all of the slavers. Kill everyone. Bring Preston with me and do it like... Like, let's clean house, son. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking renovate everything. So are there any creatures that you didn't mention that you really like? I think blood bugs could have been bigger. I don't... Oh, they, they're like mis- gross mosquitoes. Ugh, That's I why I think I think a lot of the cool shit for me within Fallout is the... Mon- and, and I'm probably going to butcher this word, but the mundanity? Is that a word? Um, Maybe mundaneness? I get what you're saying. Things that are more mundane that then have become irradiated and have changed into something cool. Yeah. We live in a state that becomes very, very humid, right? Yes. I always kind of pictured Boston to be very, very humid because water. Yes. Right? So, blood bugs being just mutated giant mosquitoes that take your blood and spit it back out you spit it back out at you was just kind of interesting. It was something so different. Like mole rats, they're just bigger fucking rats. Bigger fucking mole rats. Naked mole rats. Yeah. Oh, I remember my favorite creature. Oh, let me hear. It's the fire ants from 3. Fucking tell me, please. Oh, isn't the the quest called Them, right? You know what it's based on? Yeah. those. It's based on the movie Them. That's about giant ants. Oh, those and Them, yeah. Oh, they're, they're the worst. I just hate them so much that yeah. they left that big of an impression on me. Really? Oh, yeah. they're oh, I hate them. They're the worst to kill. I just finished up. I have to find the kid a home, but I just finished up, like, the bulk of the quest. Yeah. And what's really fun is I was, a low, I was like, level four, right? I don't even think I had bloody mess yet. But I already had, like, 40 grenades. Because I had done enough exploring, and I had mines because I was doing the uh, survival. 
Wasteland Survival Guide. So when you go to Minefield, you can pick up a lot of... Mines? Yeah. It's probably my favorite town in From 3. Really? I really like Minefield. Really? Yeah. Out of every town, out of the, the fucking... The ship that's a an aircraft carrier. Your favorite town is a town with abandoned houses that have subpar loot and a man named Arkansas with a sniper. There's something about it that I just really like the layout. Really? It was good game design. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, you, the way you are supposed to enter town by, like, your proximity to the vault and the way the road leads, you... Though it's, mo- it's marked as Minefield on your map, you're like, oh yeah, Minefield, whatever, someone made up a creative name. And then you just start to hear the beeping, and then the cars, the cars fucking explode, and the way that they're angled, it's a maze of just, you better not fuck up, or you're dead. And all the while, there's a crazy man shooting at you. And my immediate thought, I remember my first time playing, I was like, challenge number one, I want every fucking mine from this godforsaken place i want to get up there because whatever he is guarding has to be worth it and you know what he's guarding sweet fuck all nothing yeah he's crazy yeah he's a crazy person but like that was kind of a moment in fallout where i was like this is a world where nothing matters that person was just trying to murder someone in a field of explosives where they were probably gonna die anyway over nothing i think there's a duffel bag with a combat shotgun or something up there I think you're right, because I went there very early on and grabbed it. Yeah. That's nuts to me. That's your favorite town. Not, yeah, I've, I've always liked it. Not the, the fucking village of children. The eat people place. Big town? No. Oh. And Andale. Or Andale. Yeah. The vampire Arf, people. Arfu's pretty cool. Fucking Minefield. I really like Minefield. That's, that's amazing. That's really cool. Yeah. I like going in the houses, because they're kind of a little bit untouched. I don't know. I They're just, just really kind of it. like shits falling because yeah. just shit falls. I think there's an interesting bedroom too, where there's like a kid in a closet, like a skeleton kid in the closet. Yeah, Fallout Three has child skeletons. I forgot about that. I was in yeah. the fucking elementary school, and I was like walking over these dead kids. I was like, oh my god. And you, this one, you're not playing with music, so it's even more spooky. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Bethesda being Bethesda, I'm surprised they haven't recycled this one yet. Giant spiders? Oh, yeah. I guess they didn't want to overlap Elder Scrolls, but honestly... But let's release Skyrim 90 times. There you go there. <laughs> I think giant spiders, giant irradiated spiders, could be very interesting. I think it'd be kind of like a mixture between the fire ant and the bloat fly, in the sense that it would be like the fire ant in, in its, its stature, but it could kind of be like the bloat fly the way it shoots projectiles. It could be like... And it's just little green goops of webs. Yeah. Something that I think would be interesting is the webs, I think, could be irradiated. So, like, if you're walking over it, one, it's difficult terrain. You're going to be moving at half speed. And uh, you're going to be taking a ra- radioactive damage off the, those webs. I also think something that would be, like, a stretch that would be re- really interesting is if you got bit by a radioactive spider, you get a permanent debuff. To what? Or buff. To what? You get, like, some kind of skill. A perk. Something. A, a, a sense, maybe? Maybe a sense that you would know if there were spiders around, or even, like, you'd get a bigger radius to know what danger is for your compass. I think that'd be really interesting and original. I think it'd be, yeah, definitely original. Definitely original. You don't think that would be kind of, like, a detrimental thing, though? Like, you'd get that right away? Bethesda games are not balanced. <laughs> we love Bethesda, and I love that they can be mid max and broke to shit. It's part of the appeal, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like in, in Skyrim with like the Augment of Finium glitch, where you just fucking read, 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 I can do everything. Yep. Yeah. Do you ever do the glitch where you can like have infinite money? In Skyrim? No, in Fallout. I know you can do it in three. Yes, I have done it in Fallout. You wanna know how I found out about this? I it? called Xbox tech support. I was like, my Xbox is broken. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And like I guess the guy was new because it kinda seemed like he still cared about his job. And he was talking to me, and he's saying, like, he's like, oh, so what have you been playing lately? And I was like, you know, I play Halo 3 with my friends, and I play a lot of this game called Fallout. And, like, I didn't think Fallout was, like, a big game. Like, I didn't think a lot of people played it. And he's like, ah, dude, I love that game. He's like, he's like, what kind of character are you playing? I'm like, I think I was a bad guy. I think I was killing everybody. He's like, cool, cool, cool. He goes, my first playthrough, I'm going to be a good guy. I I don't know. I was like, yeah, I want to do all this shit, but I don't have enough money. He's like, dude, don't worry about money. This is how... And he told me, like... The dude from tech support was telling me, like, how to cheat. And 
And then, like, it got to a point where he was done talking and I didn't know what to say because it was ready for the next part of the process of rebooting the console. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Now what? And he's like, oh, uh, turn it off, turn it back on. I'm like, okay, thanks, bye. How do, how do you perform it? I never... I don't, I don't know. I never did it. Really? I, I, I was too much of a... There was a, uh, there was a money glitch in four, I remember. Really? I don't remember how you did it, but there was a way to just farm money. Is it the print infinite money glitch by just setting up one camp, probably the slog, that is nothing but water purifiers, and then just selling them? Yeah. It had to do with water, I remember. Yeah. You and if you linked all of your settlements together and put as many water purifiers as you can fit, you would have you'd have a stupid amount of just free water. Hmm. Not not free water. Well, you could use you can use water to just trade. So I would have purified water and I'd go to Cleo and go, Okay, let me have all of your ammo. For yeah. shit that I'm not even using. Let me just take it. Let me just clean you out. You're like, give me these electromagnetic charges. Here's some bottled water. Yeah. Here's Enjoy, yeah. robot woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every game is... Okay, so I wanted to I wanted to make sure I bring this up. Every game is somewhat based around water. Fallout 1, find the water chip, right? I think we should talk about this in its own episode. Fuck. Next time on Atomic Radio, we talk about water. So it's come to that point in the show where we launch into... Your next segment, your favorite segment, it's going to help you get good at Fallout. Welcome to the Wasteland Survival Guide, sponsored by Creator Side Supply. Go buy your shit from Moira. What do you want to talk about first when it comes to being better at a game? I think we kind of touched on it a little bit a, a couple minutes ago. Water is money. Yeah. Water is money. Even but, dirty water. Yeah. Like, um... Oh, and I've got a really good one. If you drink Nuka Cola, as most of us, I'm sure, do, make sure that you never sell your glass bottles. Because if you go to a vault and go to a water fountain, you can fill up your glass bottles into purified water. Can you fucking really? You can. That's At least in four. Insane. In four, I know you can. No, in four you can because of the um, survival mode. Yeah. Survival can you do mode. That in regular that. mode. Sorry. Can you do? I thought you could do it in regular mode too. I don't. I don't think so. Well, I like survival mode. I think it's fun and challenging. So. That's something I always do. I'm just like, ooh, a bottle! I get more excited to find bottles than, like, ammo. Because I'm just like, I need to drink. I totally agree with you. I only wish that the bottles would change. Because they kind of like plastic water bottles. But I kind of wish you could have, like, a beer bottle or a bottle of bourbon that just has a beer or a water logo <laughs> slapped on it. Yeah. I think that'd be so cool. That's, a uh, Yeah, that would be pretty cool. But, yeah, s- stock up on your water, especially if you're doing survival mode. Because it's not that hard. <laughs> To keep in the whole vein of keeping uh, food and water inside of you, anytime you kill an animal, take its food. Take that and meat. And creatures, take the meat. Yeah. It's fr- it they normally doesn't weigh a lot. Deathclaw steak, I know, catches you a little bit of money. Deathclaw eggs get you a nice little bit. Yeah. It's it's Even if it's an extra pound, but it's worth 40 caps. Yeah, and um, in four, you can make some nice old cooking stuff. Oh, I totally forgot about that. You can yeah. like, fall- well, I think you can do that in New Vegas too. I think yeah, you can do that in New Vegas also. Um, but I only remember kind of like playing with it in four. Yeah, make some good old like dog jerky. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. You- There's the whole Nuka Cola stations that you can like fuck with recipes for Nuka Cola. Yeah. So I never did that though. I never. Another thing. Uh, this is more of a New Vegas thing. Uh, drink as much Sunset Sarsaparilla as you goddamn can. Because you might be graced with a star bottle cap, which is necessary for uh, the name of the quest, I can't remember, but the one where you can turn in your star bottle caps for that's, a needle prize. That's totally not a massive waste of time. I think that, that, I like that quest. It's a really charming quest, like, especially all the dialogue is like, oh, they thought of this. Yeah. Like, they really put a lot of time into it. And then you get your reward and you're like, well, alrighty then. I take every single bit of that reward. Really? Because it's mine. And speaking of taking everything that's yours, if you go to uh, to Dinky uh, in Novak, all of the things in the closet that are souvenirs do not have the uh, owned tag. You can have all of them. I think that gun might have... Uh... That gun does have an owned tag. Yeah. But all of the souvenirs, those are your things now. And you can sell them back to the man. Yeah, I, I remember doing that. Yeah. It's like, hi, I happen to stumble across 30 Dinkies? And uh, also these radioactive ships. Yeah. 
Would you just so happen to want to buy them? I just lost my shipment this morning. <laughs> yeah, well, I lo- good thing I have an extra. Fucking, what a fucking, what a world to live in. Yeah. What a fucking... You know, you know what I was thinking about? Keeping in vain with the creatures and keeping in the vein of 76? Mounts. I am into it. If the world is that big, it only makes sense to me that there would be some some form of mount. Now, let's say they do mounts based on the way Red Dead Redemptions Online had mounts. This is Red Dead 1, right? Or whatever the fuck. Because now they're calling Red Dead Red Red Dead 2. Because it, it was Red Dead Revolver, then Red Dead Redemption. But now they're calling it Red Dead Redemption 2. It's like having Fallout 3 2. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or it'd be like New Vegas 2. Yeah. Yeah. The way they did it is whenever you leveled up, you unlocked a new horse. And I think once you hit like level 100, you got a zebra or a buffalo. What? Yeah. Like there was something really cool when you hit a high, high, high level. It'd be kind of cool if it, if it was like you can go to a, like a Protectron that's like, what do you want to buy? And you could like buy mounts from him and you could buy like a tamed Yaogwai. Or you could buy at a high level a Giddy Up Buttercup. Who? Yeah. Yes. What would you name your Giddy Up Buttercup? Oh. Um, and why would it be Debbie? Oh, oh, jeez. See, I wouldn't name it Debbie. Why not? I would name it Deborah. Why? Because Deborah is a classy. Sl- 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 Are you not a child of the nineties? Oh, do you, do you I, not I, I remember? Very much, I very much am a child of the nineties, but this is uh, I'm putting my own personal flair on it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah something, it's, it's you know, an homage, something elegant, yeah. like Majesty or Debbie. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think that'd be such a cool idea. Now, what would be the say hundred is the max level for Fallout seventy six? What's the level one hundred mount? Giddy up, Buttercup. Yeah, I'm gonna a death claw's too big. I would like to say a super mutant. That is your friend. Yo! A fucking super mutant get on his shoulders and like, onward, big fellow. Let's go, friend. That'd be fucking amazing. And he just talks to you the whole time and has banter. Yeah. Oh my god. You ride his shoulders? Yeah. (laughs) And you're like, need to make a right and you pat on the right side of his head? (laughs) Oh my god. Alright, fella. That'd be so good. And like, once in a while... If you're too close to another person, he'll just, like, go into attack mode and, like, veer off. <laughs> just like, I shall smash! That's great. <laughs> just like... Like a chaired out Mr. Handy? Yeah. Like I can sit in him? The Mama Murphy style. Yeah. Man, I really like that concept art. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't... I mean, I guess I understand why they didn't put it in the game, but... Yeah. Um, do you have any other tips and tricks you would like to... No, leave level 100 would be a lone wander motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's freaking awesome. Like the New Vegas mod. Yeah. Yeah. That was... But it doesn't have to be, like, stupid fast. Yeah. It just needs to be stupid class. And that's all we have for Wasteland Survival Guide. Fuck, I don't want to get off... Okay, now that Wasteland Survival Guide's over, I still don't want to get off this idea of mounts. Like, I think the mount is such a... Like, if the world is as big as they say it is, it makes sense to have it. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like a all bike. Right. Just a bike. I- I'm going to reopen the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'm just reopening that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you see, I flipped to level 101, and it is a Zeta cruiser, because I want that nice UFO to be browsing over these big mama mountains. I think that's too... Like, I like the idea, I just think it's too out there. I mean, it is Fallout. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think it's a great idea. I just think that, like... It's like the hover bike in, uh, in Saints Row 3. It's a little out there. I don't remember the hover bike. Yeah, I forget what it was called. I remember the hover bike in... Or the hover car. Maybe it was both in Simpsons Hit and Run. Did you ever yeah. play Simpsons Hit and Run? Yeah, only Back a in the few fucking times. day? Yeah, I never owned it. No? I played it at someone else's house. Dude, Simpsons Hit and Run is like one of my top three games that I like that I put the most time in on the GameCube. That, I Ninja, and probably Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Fucking, that game's a, the Chow Garden? The fucking Chow Garden? Mine were uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and... Mario Golf. Yo, fucking Mario Golf is the shit. The fucking shit. It's so good. All Mario games, but, I mean, for a good reason. Let's I never played here. them. I didn't play Sunshine, like, seriously, until I was, like, in high school. I only got my first copy of Sunshine last Christmas. That was my copy. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, yeah. I never really, I don't know. I want to play, uh, what's the new Mario game? Odyssey? Oh, I haven't fucking it's, played it yet. 
fucking I know, excellent. I know, I know, and I still. It's right here. It. Take it home. I'm not no, because I want my own copy. Because I want to just sit down and get like this winter when work slows down. I just kind of want to get enveloped in it. It's I, excellent. I just want to live in that world for like a week or like, all the worlds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I feel it's like not. you're really gonna like the first world, and you're really going to like the city. Oh yeah, new donk. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I just gotta. I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance. It really threw me back to Odyssey. I mean, welcome to the Mario podcast. But <laughs> it really threw me back to Galaxy. I meant really because I feel like Galaxy was like the perfect Mario. Game. Never played them. It was my favorite. Really, Galaxy was is like my f- personal perfect Mario game, and it really was reminiscent of that. And I was just like, this is Galaxy, but better. I never played Galaxy two. I, yeah, neither did I. Yeah, but it was just real good. You know, now that I think about it, I never really played any of the Mario games, like, real heavy. Like, I played the first one because when you get an NES, it's, like, the game that comes with it. Yeah. So, Super Mario World, I played the shit out of, but I was watching a lot of YouTube videos about it at the time. Mm. So, I don't really feel like I ever, like, learned anything about the game because I kind of knew everything because it was like, oh, Screw Attack made another video about this. Yeah. And then when I bought it, it was just like, all right, I don't want to plow through this. Yeah. Speaking of plowing through things... Is your girlfriend coming on the show? You know that that's not a thing. Food in Fallout 4. Yes. Grow as many goddamn potatoes as you can. Yeah. And that's where we're going to end Wasteland Survival, guys. <laughs> Part 2. I think we should uh, we should bring out some of these uh, some of these dusty things from over here. See, I've got this crate. We just found it in the, in the basement of the studio. Yes. And um, we found a what bunch. What was the crate labeled? It was cra- uh, It was. One more time? The crate was labeled old shit really <laughs> yeah so i opened up this uh this crate you opened the old shit up i opened the old shit up yeah, yeah, yeah and we found some hollow tapes would you look at that you didn't tell me about it no I was, I what else are you hiding you. from me I, actually another crate just, of hollow tapes just, being honest just just keep going keep the podcast moving okay come on so this crate of hollow tapes the crate of hollow tapes and uh i think we should Share some of them. Let's play that one. This one? Yeah. No, no, wait. The one no, over. Yeah. Oh, wait, this this one has blood on it. Ooh. You sure you want to play that one? Um, you might get hepatitis. Yeah, maybe. Play oh, it, yeah, let's, it. let's play it. All right, cool. This is Carla Keaton of the Arkansas Trade Commission. Incident Report 1. It seems that I've been attacked... I, I bandaged it up really quick, but it was one of those, one of those glowing rotters. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I've, I've been feeling hot ever since. I, it's not a very good feeling. I think I'm gonna have to push my, my delivery back by a few days. I know the company's gonna have to dock my, some of my pay, but I can't move on today. It's just too much on me. I'll come back. I'll report. As if my condition gets any better, or, I mean, forbid that it get worse. End incident report. So that that was that woman hurt. I think oh. she, I think she was pretty hurt. How do we get an insurance tape? <laughs> <laughs> Is her number on it? Can we call her? Uh, this says, it just says number one on it. Um, so I don't logically, think- after one comes. Um, like two, or maybe a, a higher number than two. So you well, think if we got them all and put them together? We'd get her phone. I'll number? check the other. I'll check the other crate, and uh, and see if we can find a, another one. What's the other one? The other crate labeled "Shit the Sequel." Yeah. Cool. So I think that's gonna wrap us up then. It's gonna wrap us up. We do have one more thing, as per usual. Oh yeah, we got to shout out a man. So we got to shout out a man. Uh, that would be a Mister. That would be a Mr. Shane Ivers. That is for our use of the Feather Duster intro track. If you would like to download that, you can get it at silvermansounds.com slash free music slash Feather Duster. Thanks for the tunes, homeboy. Yeah.